Hi friends, I'm back and it's Wednesday and they did have the food bank today. So after work, me and my husband went through, um, the, this is the one where you walk through, they throw the food in your box. You don't know what you're getting. When you get home, you unbox it all and you see what you got. So I will say I got some really good stuff. Um, they were very generous today. I don't know if maybe because over the Thanksgiving holiday, the stores donated a lot. Um, or if the food truck that they have come in just had an abundance of food, but they were very generous and I got some really great stuff and very thankful considering I have to work this weekend. So I will not be attending a food bank this weekend. I didn't get to attend a food bank this past weekend. So very much needed in my cupboards and I am very thrilled. So let me get you guys turned around and I'll show you what we got. All right, I'm gonna start over here with the cold stuff. And look at that beauty right there. New York strip steak. This is meat that I would otherwise not buy at the store because for $27, I can buy a lot of cheaper cuts of meat. Um, so that'll be, that's very well, you know, um, appreciated. I got a nice thick pack of uh, sorted pork chops. Not one, not two, but three pounds of Black Forest ham, lunch meat. And back here, I got two of these zero sugar oat milk and an entire gallon of reduced fat 2% lactate milk. So there's milk. I got an Italian loaf which will actually probably be used tonight because I was gonna do spaghetti. I got two of these lemon pies, two bags of these decadent oatmeal raisin cookies, two containers of these little mini cinnamon rolls, one little piece of banana bread, a container of mini French crullers. Those are delicious. I got this, um, Cookies and cream parfait. My husband actually asked if he could have that. I told him I had to do a video first. And I got a four count of full size cinnamon buns. I'm excited for this. It is a coconut custard pie. And then right here we have some cookies. I got um, gourmet macadamia nut and oatmeal raisin. All right. Um, I'm going to get the cold stuff put away, and then I'll be back to show you the rest. All right, friends. We're back. And I realized I have one more cold thing to show you guys. So let me get this shown so I can put it away. This is actually really nice. Do you read the side of this box? HMS Berry Salad Kit. Assembly Pack. I thought, uh, maybe this is a bunch of those small bags of salad. No, it's not. Let me show you what I got. And by the way, I love salad. So, me and my daughter. Two big old bags of baby spinach. So, it's a spinach-based salad. Two bags of the diced chicken to go in it. Two bags uh, what is this? Walnuts? Walnuts. Bag of dressing. I'm assuming this might be like a, a vinaigrette. Um, and then two of these feta cheese. Like, and none of these go out of date. Their sell-by dates aren't until next year. So, like, check that out, y'all. That's a lot of salad. So, I'm very happy. All right. So, let me... I'll be back. I'm going to get this thrown in the fridge real quick. All right. And over here for the produce, as you all know, this one gives out an abundance of produce on a normal Wednesday. However, today, I'm telling you, I don't know what was going on, but they gave out so much. Like, it was amazing. So we'll start over here. I got a five pound bag of gold potatoes and they look amazing. I got this cute little bag of Sunburst Blend bite-sized potatoes. Look at them. 
All right, I got a bag of onions. They're tiny, but guess what? I can use them. I got some red delicious apples. This made my heart happy. My husband did not know what these were. Do you guys know what these are? All right, I'll tell you. You don't have to pull my leg too much. These are acorn squash. And they're as simple as cut in half, scoop out the inside, the seeds, clean it out, pack it with brown sugar and some butter. Um, if you want any other spices, cinnamon, go for it. For me, just brown sugar and butter. Uh, wrap the open cut with foil, place it in the oven and bake it. Oh my goodness, I'm actually gonna have one tonight for dinner while the family has spaghetti. This um, just sounds better to me. We got four bags of sweet potatoes. Four. More baby spinach. I love it though because not only for a salad, but I will cook with it and put it in my eggs. Um, I create just random things like whatever I have in my fridge, veggies, like I'll create a dish with like just random veggies. Um, pineapple. Look at that beauty. Who doesn't love a good pineapple? I'll go ahead and tell you another little fun fact. I'm technically semi allergic and tolerant to pineapple as well as strawberries. Uh, but I still love them. So with this one, I don't, you won't see me eating strawberries, but with pineapple, I can tolerate it to an extent. So I will enjoy this pineapple and then pay the consequences and deal with it. It's worth it. Um, and then over here, one, two, three, four, five, six. You heard that correctly. Six. Not one, but six bags of green seedless grapes. I mean, look at them. They're perfect. Mmm. Perfect. And yes, I just ate that grape without washing it. It's me. I'm not going to die. I will wash them and put them in the fridge, but I just had to have one. Delicious. All right. So that's the produce. All right. And say hi, Charlie. That's my Charlie boy. And that's my Romeo. All right. Here's what we got for the shelf stable. All right. I got two packs of spaghetti noodles. Always need and can use pasta. Four of these traditional pasta sauce. I will say these do not contain very much um, seasoning in them. But it's the perfect basis for spaghetti sauce. Get in there, use your seasonings, um, dice up an onion, uh, cook it with your ground, your hamburger meat. Like, you can make it taste delicious. So, I'm very happy with that. Four cans of sweet peas. I, <laughs> that is, what's funny about these is I, myself, and um, my oldest daughter love peas. My husband, he's like a little kid when it comes to peas. I have to mix them in with something that he can't really pick them out for him to eat them. But he's not going to sit there and just eat a bowl of peas or peas and carrots. I mean, I love peas though. So, four cans of peas. Two bags of great northern beans. Always handy to have dry beans on hand. And then some pumpkin spice baking chips. Get creative with those. You might make some cookies or, you know... We'll get creative. All right. And, oh, and here for the non-food, it's uh, basically Tylenol PM. It's acetaminophen PM. This is actually very well needed. I have not been sleeping very well these past few nights. So, I might try this, see if it helps. I'll let y'all know. Um, does anyone else take anything to help them sleep at night? I normally don't. Um, I have tried Z Quill before, so I'll try these. I mean, they were given to me. I might as well try them since I haven't been sleeping good. Uh, all right, and like I said, great haul today. Very thankful and appreciative for everything we have received. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Also, if you have any recipes or suggestions of how to use these items, please feel free to leave them below. Um, I would love to try your recipes. All right, until next time.